can't believe we're flying together to nationals. <laughs> okay, relax, Beth. It's not like we're going to the Olympics. Plus, this is just the first round. Hi. First up, Sacramento. Next up, Paris 2024. Yes, that's the kind of energy we need. Um, oh, looks like I'm right here. Hi, I'm Sahar. Hi, Mom. Hi, Hadinti. Hashtini, Sahar. I'm late. I'm in the car, خلاص. Don't want to tell you that you're going to be all over me. You're going to be all over me, Hadinti. Yeah, we made it. But I wanted to tell you that you're going to be all over me. You know, you're going to be all over me. 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 You can't be talking on your phone on an airplane. Oh, I I know. I'm sorry, but it's my mom, and she gets a little nervous about me fly. Flight attendant, flight attendant. I'll I'll call you back. Can I help you? She's on her phone. Oh no, I I was just turning it off, and I put it on airplane mode. Okay, thank you. We appreciate that. Wait a minute. Are there any other seats on the plane? I want to move. Is there a problem? I don't feel comfortable sitting here. Uh, okay. Unfortunately, this flight is oversold. No, 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 no. I don't feel safe sitting next to her. And if we don't resolve this issue, we're going to have a problem. <sighs> hey, Sahar, do you want to switch seats with me? Thanks, Anna. Do you still need to switch your seat? No, thank you. I'm fine. Sorry about that. I have a 4.0 GPA. I'm so nice to everyone I meet, and I'm about to run track at nationals. And all anyone ever sees me for is my job. Not everyone. Just some people. Don't let her get to you. I'm not I'm used to it. Besides, I'm not gonna let anything get me down because we have a race to win. <laughs> I can't believe you have a Thomas Jefferson biography. <laughs> no wonder you're so smart. I'll be playing Sudoku and listening to Doja Cat. <laughs> <laughs> get into a yuck, get into a yuck, get into a yuck, get into a yuck. <laughs> Excuse me, coach, can we have a word? Oh, yeah, sure. Uh, what's going on? Do you have any sort of written approval that allows her to wear her, you know? Written approval? What are you talking about? Let me handle this. Sahara wears her hijab at every race. I don't understand what the big issue is. Well, it may not be a problem for states, but this is nationals. Unauthorized articles of clothing need to be approved before the race. That's protocol. <laughs> According to who? According to the cross-country rule book. But why should it matter? She came in first. She's the winner. Just call it. Look, I can, I can just put the form out right now and I can, I can... Sorry. Without a written authorization before the race, technically, Sahar broke the rules, so... She's disqualified. <laughs> we are awarding Abigail Stevens from Concord High School first place, and she'll go into the second round next week. That is what? Right? That's my right. This is ridiculous. We don't make the rules, all right? Look, if you have a problem, take it up with the cross-country commission. We're sorry, there's there's nothing we can do. So, so hard, wait, wait, guys. Congratulations. I totally knew that we were gonna win nationals. <laughs> now the real competition begins. Oh, look who it is, Miss Disqualified. I won that race back there fair and square. They disqualified me for no reason. No reason? <laughs> Come on. You didn't follow the rules. You easily could have taken that thing off. My hijab is part of my religion. It represents privacy and modesty. To even ask me to take it off is so disrespectful. Okay, well, no offense, but it makes you look like a terrorist. I mean, thank God that no one could come to this race because you would have scared everyone off. <laughs> Hey, 
You okay? Regardless of what happened, everyone knows you won that race. That's what matters. So please don't let this discourage you. The last thing I'm feeling is discouraged, Beth. I can't let Abigail win. You heard what the official said. Unless you take it up to the commission. Well, it's a good thing we're in Sacramento because that's exactly what I'm gonna do. And I looked it up. It's not too far from here. Are you sure it's worth it? I mean, rules are rules. Yeah, well, it's like Thomas Jefferson said. If rules are unjust, not only do we not have to follow them, but we have an obligation to fix them. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Then they told me I was disqualified, all for wearing my hijab. Technically, you were disqualified because you failed to fill out the approval report prior to the race. Well, that's not fair. Lots of people wear religious symbols and they don't get disqualified for them. Like that cross you're wearing. What if you had to get permission every time you wanted to wear it? Or that Star of David on your finger. What if you had to fill out a form every time you wanted to put it on? And that's a kudah, right? That's a religious symbol. Imagine getting disqualified from a sport just because you didn't want to take that off. Oh, I never take this off, not even in the shower. Exactly. Please, put yourself in my shoes. I read the regulations and they only apply to garments, which doesn't make sense because they should apply to all religious symbols or none. Ms. Yusuf, we truly feel for you, we do. And we understand that you're upset, but the rules must be followed. This could be avoided in the future if you just followed the protocol. It, it really comes down to unauthorized racing attire. If an article of clothing could possibly give you an unfair advantage, then you we... You think my hijab gives me an advantage? I get stared at, made fun of, discriminated against every day just because of my beliefs. Do you know how that makes me feel? Having to race through that? I don't see how that gives me an advantage. We must follow the regulations, Miss Youssef. Do you? Or is that just easier than changing the regulations? Okay, Sohar, come on, let's go. I still can't believe they didn't do anything. It's so annoying. You tried your best. You should be proud of yourself for that. What do you mean? I'm not giving up. They made it pretty clear they're not changing the rules. Okay, I hate to ask this. What if, if you're not filling out the form? Not that. What if you, I don't know, took it off? Kate, it's just a question. Let me ask you something. What if Rosa Parks just gave in and went and sat at the back of the bus? That certainly would have made things a lot easier civil rights would have probably taken a lot longer to move forward. Right? Or what if Gandhi just gave in to the government and stopped fighting for what he believed in? It probably would have taken India a lot longer to gain their freedom. Or what if Ibtaha Muhammad, the Muslim girl who wore her hijab at the Olympics, what if she just gave in and took it off when they told her she shouldn't wear it? She wouldn't have changed history. All these heroes stood up for what they believed in and didn't give even with a little resistance, so neither can I. I know, Sahar, but what else can you do? I don't know. I haven't figured that out yet, but I will. Hey, Sahara. We heard about what happened at your track meet. That's so messed up. Sorry that happened. Thank you. Did someone at school tell you guys? No, we saw it on TikTok. Oh my gosh, I didn't know there was a video. Yeah. It's got a pretty good amount of views. Seems like a lot of people are supporting you. Anyway, sorry they had to go through all that. Good luck. Thanks. I think I know what I'm gonna do. Wait, Sahar, your food. Where do you guys think she's going? If I had to guess, to make history. Sahar is now more motivated than ever to get the rules changed. Once she gets home, she records a video of herself explaining what happened. She talks about the rule book and how it only affects runners who wear religious garments, not any other religious object. 
It gets millions of views and thousands of comments. Even the local media starts to pick up the story as people everywhere start protesting. What are you watching? Uh, nothing. Okay, well, instead of watching videos, can you focus on the race? We have to win nationals. I'm sorry, girls. I'm afraid I have some bad news. Bad news? What are you talking about? Hey, coach, what's up? Hey, Sahara, what are you doing right now? I'm uh, just typing up an essay for school. Why? Well, pack your bags because we're hopping on the flight. You got a race tomorrow. Wait, 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 wait. What? But we lost the race. I got disqualified. I just got off the phone with the cross country committee. They overturned your disqualification, which means we got first place and we're going to the next round. Oh my gosh! So you mean I can wear yes, my. Yes, you or any other high school runner in the country never have to worry about racing in their hijab again. The committee removed it from the handbook. Oh, thank you so much, coach. This is all so exciting. Don't thank me. You did this all on your own. I'm proud of you. Now get to the airport. Mom, I'm racing today. I need a ride. This is so crazy. I can't believe we're going to the second round of nationals. <laughs> What'd you say to me? Relax, Anna. It's not like we're going to the Olympics. Okay, okay, you're right. But now I'm excited, especially since it's taken such a roller coaster to get here. Do you think we're gonna win, Sahar? Honestly, it kind of feels like we already have. No, I do not feel comfortable with you sitting next to me. I don't understand. This is my seat. Mm -mm. Why don't you... Excuse me. I have an extra seat. You could sit here if you'd like. Yes, please. Thanks, I appreciate it. No worries, I know what it's like. I'm Sahar, it's nice to meet you. Balji, nice to meet you too. I wish we had a law against letting people like them fly on a plane. It's bad enough I get sourced every time when I go through security. You do? So do I. <laughs> and they always say those screenings are random. What do you think she's up to? Whatever it is, I'm sure she's going to change the world. <laughs> <laughs>